On the 19, a Jeffersonville family is trying to heal after a devastating blow. The man charged with their loved one's death pleaded guilty today in court on a lesser charge that comes with a much shorter sentence. WHAS 11 night teams Bobby McSwine and photojournalist Ian Hardwit spoke today to family members at court there in Jeffersonville. And Bobby, uh, what'd they tell you happened? Well, the family of Jasmine Andrews says the pros prosecutor in this case informed them that the trial would likely be a mistrial like it was in December. Instead, they reached a plea agreement that allowed Jesse Andrews, Jasmine's ex-husband, to plead guilty to reckless homicide, a charge that will likely carry six years. A solemn moment as Jesse Andrews waited for an elevator just feet away from Jasmine Andrews' family in Clark County Circuit Court after pleading guilty to her death. Do you feel any sense of justice right now? No, I don't. No justice at all. This six years compared to 65 years when she should, should be getting, this is not right. Andrews is accused of shooting and killing Jasmine, his ex-wife, at his home on Carrie Ann Way in February of last year. Jasmine's dad, James Cochran, says the amended charge of reckless homicide is like a punch to the gut. You know, now we, we have to suffer on top of what, what's already happened. And knowing that he's going to get out one day and be walking the streets again. But Jasmine's mother has a different perspective. I felt his pain in the courtroom. I felt the guilt that he realized he did so much wrong. And I think he should pay. But I also think that everybody has black skeletons in their closet, black scars. And I think that he really did love her, no matter what anybody says. Karen Segrist says it's the kind of grace and love not many understand. So yeah, I forgive him, even though people never understand that. My daughter taught me that kind of love. And when she was happy, she was happy. And when he loved her, he loved her. Despite differing perspectives, both sides of the family say Jasmine was beautiful inside and out. She was trying to be happy. And that's just how I want to remember her. Jasmine's family also said her relationship with Jesse was violent and she was trying to leave. If you or anyone you know are dealing with domestic violence, please call the number on your screen. That's 1-800-799-7233 or visit the hotline.org to speak with a specialist online. I'm live in the studio, Bobby McSwine, the WHAS 1119 on your side.